while Ukraine, which has been experiencing violent conflicts for months, is bringing nuclear weapons back to the world agenda. Research shows that nuclear weapons will increase in the coming years. Nuclear weapons, which came up again with the Ukrainian war, were used only once and by the United States. During the Second World War, in August 1945, U.S. President Harry Truman authorized the dropping of atomic bombs on the Japanese cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. According to estimates, 200,000 people lost their lives. Nuclear weapons were used once, but after the Second World War, the nuclear race gained momentum and the world faced a major disaster many times, according to experts. Although the international order on nuclear weapons is far from stable, it is too early to say that the order has collapsed. The statements made by Russia, especially during the Ukrainian war, herald the need for the international community to build a much more binding order on nuclear weapons. CIPRI's 2022 annual report also warned that the global number of nuclear warheads could rise again after the Cold War if nuclear-armed countries do not take concrete action on disarmament as soon as possible. The Soviet Union's quick action in acquiring nuclear weapons after the Second World War protected the world from a nuclear war during the Cold War, even though it underwent nuclear tests. Today, however, many powers from Europe to Asia have nuclear warheads. Neither the United States nor Russia has a monopoly on this issue. According to the CIPRI report, the decrease in the U.S. and Russian nuclear warheads compared to 2021 and previous years is due to the dismantling of obsolete warheads within the framework of modernization studies. China which is not transparent about nuclear weapons, is at an important threshold at the point of increasing its nuclear weapons capacity. Satellite images from the country show the presence of 300 new missile silos under construction. The UK announced its decision to increase its nuclear warhead capacity in 2021 and announced that it will increase its nuclear warhead capacity to 260. The UK has also declared that the country will not make public figures on operational nuclear warhead capacity, deployed warheads and missiles. North Korea has also made its current military nuclear program the central element of its national security strategy. Although the country has around 20 warheads, it is estimated that it has enough material to produce 40 to 45 warheads. France, on the other hand, is three at the beginning of 2021. Announced the launch of a program to develop a generation nuclear-fueled ballistic missile submarine. India and Pakistan also announced last year that they would develop missiles capable of carrying nuclear warheads. Empty hearts and